Hi guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. My name is Sal, and today I am doing mainly a trial run, a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Now this was a game that was created when the card game was not long out, and the anime was not long out, and it seemed that nobody knew how to play the game, not even the anime, and this is what we got as a result. A game that does not follow the rules or any of the mechanics. And believe me, I've spent hours playing this game, getting very frustrated. <laughs> Until I got the star chips to get some decent monsters. Uh, if you're wondering about the voice, uh, I've been ill for quite a while. It's had a, a bit of a knock on effect with recordings because I have not been able to really do much because for a few days I couldn't speak. But I'm getting there, so I should be back to recording full, fully soon. See, it doesn't look like he's going to be the antagonist at all. Maniacal laugh. Maniacal laugh. Well, person, guardian, and um, crap, what was the, um, the snake, uh, oh. no, never mind, I'm thinking of the pharaoh's crown, which one model meant the ruling northern Egypt, one ruling southern Egypt, but he's obviously not the pharaoh, so he'd obviously be my dad. I'm gonna just run away from him. I'll find out. Why not? Let's start off strong. Let's have a look what cards we got. Four spellcasters, one dragon, warrior, mostly beasts from the top of it. Ooh, fiends, angels, and so machines. Eh. I need more dragons in my deck because I think it was undead and dragons to make a zombie dragon. Uh, may as well while I'm here. Yeah, this game had no concept of the fusion mechanics of the actual game. It was quite literally, you pick one card, and then you fuse it to any other card you choose. Or multiple cards, in fact. Sure, why not? Let's get it going. thing is they actually got the life point count right well I've no dinosaurs so I'm just gonna summon the judgment hand straight away 
Yeah, you can only play one card each turn as well. Not good. Well, let's try some fusion mechanics. Ooh, yes. I'm going to remember that for next time. Fiend and Magician. Yeah, they also, um, if I recall, the star signs you see each monster having actually determine their abilities as well, or their elements. So, obviously, fire beats water and all sorts, and water beats. So, fire beats water, and lightning beats water. But also, these star signs also play into account. For example, this one. Though, despite that getting power boost, my card was massively still overpowered. Now, this has actually been much easier than I thought it would. Beast, let's try the, let's try the beast zombie. No, it's over anyway, so... Get some first star chips, and I'll be saving them to get some better monsters. Like the Celtic Guardian. Nice. Which I think was something like... I don't know, 20 plus star chips or something like that. No, no get me wrong, but I'll have a look later. Yeah, let's talk to somebody else. Yes, because we're dirty stop-ins and we like to play card games instead of taking part in the community. As it always has been. Let's have a look at what we got from the last one. So you combine plants and beasts as well, you get flower wolf. I'll try that. <laughs> well, I did think that'd be a long shot at best. So if I draw that dragon, I'm combining it with that zombie. So that creates some of the dragon if I remember correctly. Next list. Let's do fiend insect actually. Hopefully I'm not being too quiet. Um, I am trying to keep myself from coughing all the time. Yeah, let's do, yeah, let's do uh, machine fire this time. But I just need to start causing some real mayhem, otherwise we're going to be here a long time. Right, 
Let's see if this creates. Uh... No. All right. I'm guessing it must just be wolf-based creatures then. Well, that's fine. We'll uh, start combining them in a second. Oh, it was not limited to magic cards as well. You could combine them together and hopefully create a better effect. To be fair, I am actually quite pleased that in the Battle City, the second season of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, they started actually applying the rules properly. Oh, okay. It's got to be specific fiends and wizards then. But yeah, uh, second season of the anime, they started um, applying the things properly. So, you know, sacrifices, fusion monsters have to wait one turn for attacking, that sort of thing. I'll say this, I'm enjoying the soundtrack that's going on. This has the, up to the 60 card limit, or it has to be, you know, 40 cards exactly. Let's see if this makes Giga Tech Wolf. Ooh, even better. The Dicey Armadillo. Sounds dicey. Do not worry, I'll be punishing myself for that pun in a moment. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Trap master. Okay. It's the first time I took damage. This guy's actually got cards that are a threat, so we need to be careful. understand the stars on these monsters as well. Hello. Idea what I just did that. At all. I'm going to pin that down to my illness or the medication of them. Ooh. You know what? Beasts and machines are actually working out quite well. At the moment. Right. <laughs> nope, didn't think so, but that'd be a nice convincing target for the enemy. I 
I've got that card somewhere. And there's an old shoe box somewhere from when I used to play. Ooh, dragon. Uh, I don't have any zombies. But I do have a rock monster. Let's go on patrol. Yes. Good old stone dragon. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, they did not follow the rules at all. I imagine the production team were gone, here's a card game, here's a basic understanding of it, run with it. Oh, you've got a fusion in there somewhere. Oh, okay. I don't actually know if that's true or not. I haven't researched it. I might do at some point, because it's piqued my curiosity, but not for now. I think it's got to be those two specific cards I used before. Oh well. to insects. To this old man, though, he's, he's actually got some decent cards for the era of, of the card game that was released at the time. What the combination I have been waiting for. Boom. And he's got some pretty decent defensive monsters, so he could hold off some. Well, from what I've seen from everyone having weak attack monsters, most I'd say most of the cards I had in my own deck were either over a hundred, or if they had less than a thousand, it because they had a pretty decent effect. Ah, the bolt penguin. Let's try a machine fiend. I really hope he gives me that card. Probably what I did it again, didn't I? Uh, I'll probably watch the footage back and find out what that combination was. Ooh, lags of despair. Else. 
Right, let's go outside. have a timer for uh, my record. That's something I'll need to fix at some point. I love how this has no resemblance to the plot of the anime or, an or manga either. I'm the best duelist you've ever seen. Well, no, I suppose I have won four victories since we started this with what to most players would be crappy cards. save and get some meds. Sorry guys, uh, this is the first slash test episode of You Gave Forbidden Memories. If what you like what you saw, feel free to share this around. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Check the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next episode of You Give a Bit of Memories. I'm going to come up with a catchy title. Uh, I feel like a pun on words for each of them would be would be interesting. Like my next Let's Play after Dark Forces, I'm quite literally just calling Star Wars Palpatine because it's a Let's Play of the Phantom Menace, and the Phantom Menace was Palpatine. So I think I might I might come up with something for this as well. Anyway guys, have a good day and I will catch you later.